This is Module 3, Lesson 12 homework on the front. Today's objective was to apply the distributive property and the fact 9 minus equals 10 minus 1 as a strategy to multiply. Number 1, find the value of each row. Then add the rows to find the total. Letter A, each cube has a value of 6. So I need to use those cubes to help me find 9 times 6. I have 1 6, 2 6s, sixes, 3 6s, sixes, 4 6s, sixes, 5 6s. Sixes. And they have told me that 5 times 6 equals 30. Down below, I have 1 6, 2 6s, sixes, 3 6s, sixes, and 4 6s. So they have written the problem as 4 times 6. To solve, I'm going to count by fours six times. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. Four times six is 24. When I look down below, there again is five times six and four times six. Five times six is 30. Four times six is 24. To find my final answer, I'm going to add 30 plus 24. I can rewrite it on this side if I need to to help me add. I know that 30 plus 24 is 54. So coming back to the top, 9 times 6 is 54. Letter B. Each cube has a value of 7. So these two pictures are going to help me solve 9 times 7. So here I have 1 7, 2 7s, sevens, 3 7s, sevens, 4 7s, sevens, 5 7s. Sevens. I can count by 5s 7 times to get my answer. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. 5 times 7 is 35. When I look at my next set of blocks, I have... One seven, two sevens, three sevens, four sevens. I have four groups of seven. So I'm going to count by fours seven times to get my answer. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight. Four times seven is twenty-eight. When I look below, I see nine times seven equals 5 plus blank times 7. They have broken the 9 apart into a 5 and a 4. So I'm going to write 4 in that blank. Then I see two multiplication problems. 5 times 7 plus 4 times 7. I am distributing the property. Now I figured out that 5 times 7 is 35, and 4 times 7 is 28. I'm going to add 35 plus 28 to find my answer. 8 plus 5 is 13. 3 plus 2 is 5, plus 1 more is 6, so 35 plus 28 is 63. Coming back to the top, I know 9 times 7 is 63. Letter C. I have each cube has a value of 8. I need to make sure that I pay attention that each letter has a different value for the cube. I'm going to find the answer for 9 times 8. I have 1 8, 2 8, 3 8, 4 eighths, 5 eighths. I can notice I have 5 sixes, 5 sevens, 5 eighths. I'm going in a pattern. So I have 30, 35. This gives me 40. Oh, wrong spot. 5 times 8 is 40. In the gray boxes, I have 1 eight, 2 eighths. 3 eighths, 4 eighths. I have 4 groups of 8. 
Again, I have four sixes, four sevens, and now four eights. I can use 24, 28 to get my next number. So I can put 28 in my head and add four more. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Four times eight is 32. Down below, again, they have broken the nine apart into a five and a four. We distribute that number sentence out. So we have five times eight plus four times eight. Five times eight is 40. Four times eight is 32. I will add 40 plus 32 to get my answer. 40 plus 32 is 72. So 9 times 8 is 72. Letter D. Each cube has a value of 9. So I'm going to find the answer for 9 times 9. 1 9, 2 9s, 3 9s, 4 9s, 5 9s. Continuing with my, prat my pattern. I have 30, 35, 40, 45. Now I have 1 9, 2 9s, 3 9s, 4 9s. So I have 4 times 9. Again, I'm going to continue counting by 4s. 24, 28, 32, 4 more, 33, 34, 35, 36. 4 times 9 is 36. Following the same pattern, they broke apart 9 into 5 plus 4. So we're distributing that to say 5 times 9 plus 4 times 9. 5 times 9 is 45. 4 times 9 is 36. I will add 45 plus 36 to find my answer. 5 plus 6 is 11. 4 plus 3 is 7. Plus 1 more is 8, giving me a total of 81. 9 times 9 equals 81.